Hello, my name is Annie Gordon. I'm the planning coordinator at Essex Wildlife Trust. And today I want to talk to you about the uh, government's proposed reforms to the planning system, which are currently under consultation. Um, Boris Johnson said that these represent the most radical changes to the planning system since the Second World War. And he's vowing to tear it all down and start again. Um, we're quite pleased to see that there are a few ambitious ideas within the uh, proposed reforms, but we do have some very serious concerns. For example, we're concerned that the proposed new planning zones won't reverse nature's decline and won't integrate nature into people's lives. And bad decisions in designating those planning zones could result in catastrophic impacts on nature we're also concerned that the proposals will weaken environmental protections and threaten nature's ability to survive and recover. They will also undermine the democratic process and provide less opportunity for you to influence development proposals in your area. And finally, the proposals fail to address the climate, nature and health emergencies together. Nature needs to be given much more priority in planning but these current proposals will only make a bad situation much worse. They need some underpinning principles to set them on the right track, otherwise they will make a wilder future impossible. Wildlife ought to be everywhere, not just in a few protected areas. We need to rebuild our life support system. We need a nature recovery network, and this really matters in your area. Getting planning right is crucial. We want to ensure a wilder future for everyone. We want the government to include five important principles to underpin any new planning reforms. Number one, wildlife recovery and easy access to nature for people. Number two, wildlife protections and standards must not be weakened. Number three, we want to see a new designation, which we're calling Wild Belt, to ensure nature's recovery. Number four, people need to be allowed to engage in decision making at all stages of the planning process. And number five, planning decisions must be based on up-to-date and accurate ecological information. We need your help in asking the government to include our five principles to in these new planning reforms, so please do get involved. You can respond to the consultation using the form on the Essex Wildlife Trust website and it would really help if you add your views to the consultation as well. If you prefer, you can access the consultation on the government's own website. By responding to the consultation and backing our five principles, you can help to ensure that we all benefit from more wildlife on our doorsteps. So please take action today. Let's protect wildlife, protect people and places, and let's make sure our future is wild.